Well, we're still in the thick of the pandemic. Someday it will be a distant memory, and that's why the Lacrosse Arts Board aims to capture it through a project called The Moment. Now, this features local artists, and News 19's Marcus Arsvold shows you one of the finalist paintings with a title we've seen everywhere we turn lately, simply called We're Closed. <laughs> Lacrosse artist Ashton Hall's painting asks a question. What did they get out of this year? What did they lose and what did they gain? What are the lessons they learned? The oil pastels might be dry, but the pains of the pandemic are still fresh, with so many downtown businesses forced to say, we're closed. It's just a fantastic piece. It's looking down on uh, one of the downtown uh, streets. It exemplified everything that we were looking for in, in the call to artists. As a part of the moment, Hall's work is one of 30 pieces of art purchased by the city for future preservation. 20 years from now, we may not remember kind of what this was and what it felt like. We have these pieces of art that really kind of tell the story of what people were feeling through the lens of artists. While people might not be able to gather at galleries right now, Dylan McArdle says this helps keep local art alive. This was uh, to have the artist inspired to do work, and it was also to support the artists during a time where it's very, very difficult for them to sell their work. As a full-time artist, I know it meant a lot to me to have something to work on, something to look forward to. Though she usually paints in the abstract, work closed has a specific meaning. I kind of wanted the viewer to go along with me on the train of thought, so I definitely put more detail in there and used a tiny hairbrush to write the Rivoli in closed. A sad but temporary story. Maybe having a visual influence and turning it into art can kind of turn a negative into a positive as well. A positive that may also provide an answer. So I hope people are reminded to support each other in the community, build the community from the ground up. At Ashton's Northside studio, Marcus Arsvold, News 19. The Lacrosse Arts Board hopes to have all the finalists on full display at the Lacrosse Library by March 1st. Now, depending on COVID-19 guidelines, mm -hmm. people can see the art, potentially purchase other works by the artists as well. And keep an eye out, there will also be a virtual gallery for you to see these works from the comfort of your home.